What's up, guys? Welcome to the Hawks Only Media and Entertainment Network, Episode 4. Today is a player spotlight uh, episode. I am Coach Welch, and with me to my – I always point in the wrong direction, but uh, to my one side or the other, Coach Hall, how you doing today? Great. How are you? Happy to be here. Thanks again for the invite. I'm really excited. Uh, it's finally starting to get a little nice out, so I'm uh, really vibing uh, this all, all this baseball talk, so – Hopefully we can keep it up. Yeah, we'll keep it going, man. We'll keep it going. I, uh, to my uh, our special guest today, we have Drew Delucia with us today, a member of the 16U squad, uh, a sophomore at Catholic Memorial. How are you doing today, Drew? I'm doing good, Coach. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. Uh, Tyler Kropis is with us, a seventh grader from Seekonk. Is it Hurley Middle School, Tyler? Yes. Uh, baby, Tyler's a metal, uh, member of the 13U squad. Uh, how are you doing today, Tyler? Good, Coach. Thanks. You got it, buddy. And, and our first ever repeat guest. Um, he was so good the first time. Uh, we have Jake Silveria with us uh, again uh, for a very specific reason, by the way, um, which we'll go over in a second. But, Jake, how are you doing today? Good. How are you, Coach? Good. Actually, let's get into that first. I saw her on your Instagram today. Um, I reached out to you a couple hours ago. I asked if you'd come on again. Um, can you tell all of us a little bit about your GoFundMe page that you just started? Yeah, so I started this GoFundMe page called Quarantine Clean. Um, our goal was to raise money for people who are unable to pay for their hospital treatments during this this kind of unprecedented set of times. Um, we wanted to raise money. I mean, obviously, coronavirus is taking over, and it's just spreading, and there's no sign of slowing down. And uh, my friend's mom is actually a nurse, right? And we were talking to her, and she said that some of the, some of the costs for uh, – treatment can get up to $30,000. And when I saw that, uh, I just wanted to see what I could do to give back, see what I could do to uh, help people out. And uh, so we decided to link this GoFundMe to Beth Israel Deaconess Hospital, awesome. the medical center in uh, Boston. Awesome. Um, and that way they will receive the money and they'll be able to kind of dole it out to whoever needs it. We have raised $630. I saw that. Uh, we launched this morning. And uh, we already were able to up our goal from 1,000 to 3,000. And I'm hoping to get that number to the fives, to the tens, and just keep it going. I love it. I mean, we'll certainly be con contributing. But, you know, where can people go to contribute? Um, so mainly my Instagram so far is uh, public. Jake Silveria, just spell it how it is. Um, you go there. The link's in the bio. Um, it's also on my Twitter feed. And then I'm setting up a Facebook post tonight. Awesome. Well, we'll we'll certainly blast it out for you. And, uh, you know, just another reminder that so much negative in the world right now in terms of or so much negative feeling in the world. But, you know, I'm I'm proud of all the people in our program, families. And uh, this is this is just another situation where our our families rise, rise above and are obviously doing some great things. And Jake, I appreciate what you're doing. And uh, I think, you know, um, we'll definitely direct some people your way. We'll be donating and uh, just I appreciate it. You able to stick around with us today? You gonna, you, you able to stick around? All right. So, um, so let's get into some player profiles here. Uh, but first, let's um, remind everybody at home, make sure you're in your Google Classrooms, checking your webinars. We got another one starting uh, today. Or actually, this is going to post tomorrow. So, um, but make sure you're – we have – age and skill specific webinars going on every single week in the Hawks program, Monday through Thursday. Uh, so you have to be in your Google classrooms for that. Make sure you're on your track programs. Um, and one reminder for everybody is when you're done with your track programs, make sure you're hitting complete all. If you're not hitting complete all uh, or, or if you're not completing the exercises as you go through the workouts, uh, you, we won't know you're doing them. And part of the process here is for us to check up on you guys. So, uh, those of you there at home, make sure you're checking those things out. Okay. Um, so Jake, I've already talked to you about what you've been doing, but I want to start with you, Drew. Um, Drew is a infielder pitcher, kind of a very, um, uh, multi-positional. Um, how are you doing finding time to get all your training in? I, I've seen you on Instagram. I've seen you hitting, um, you know, how, how are you doing? So, um, I'm doing good. I just take this time because a lot of downtime, so a lot of stuff to do. Mm -hmm. um, but I try to get out hitting, fielding, and throwing um, about four times a week. Okay. I usually, every day, like these past couple of days have been so nice. I've been just going outside with my dad, just throwing the ball around. Good. It's like light toss. 
Um, a couple buddies from my town. We used to go out, hit fields, long toss, that stuff. And then I have – I used to work out at the gym. It got closed down. So a guy at my dad's work, we made um, – we welded up a barbell. Put nice. About, it's about 70 pounds. Two shaft, two uh, one big shaft, my truck, and then two rotors, and I've been doing a lot of things with that. Like, wow, that's that's a creative. Lot of reps, bench that press, be, and all that stuff. That would be the most creative, uh, creative strategy I've seen so far. <laughs> yeah, a lot of band work too, back and everything, arm care. So that's been good. So I've been good. trying to keep up with all that. Yeah, and obviously just make sure you guys keep checking track for, you know, some of our older guys, they're on their routines. Um, but, you know, uh, we obviously put these programs together specific so that players can can have some solid guidance. So, you know, I've seen Drew, I've seen Drew working through those programs. Yesterday I did a, a webinar on on defense, some some throwing programs, some defense stuff that I'll share to all the classrooms as well. But uh, let's get, let's move on over to Tyler. Tyler, how are you doing, buddy? Good, coach. What's, uh, what have you been doing to stay busy with uh, baseball skill development? I've been doing band work. I've been going to the fields with my dad when we can. Nice. I've been hitting and fielding, and I do, like, ladder work and stuff. Cool. Hey, do you have a net at home that you can hit into or anything? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, don't forget that hitters, when, you know, hitters, pitchers, whatever, um, upload your video or send your video to us so we can actually provide you guys some feedback too, right? So, Tyler, what have you been working on specifically with your hitting? Like, I've been working on, like, how to, like, get, like, my foot down in time and stuff and, okay. like, loading back and, like, getting my elbow, like, back. Sure. You know, obviously, you, you spent some time over the winter working on your hitting. You know, what uh, – what what I, I don't know what hitting protocols you're on specifically, but I know Coach Sullivan, Coach Olmo, they, they've, they've put a pretty specific hitting routine. What's your favorite drill? Mm, probably walk to launch. Walk to launch. I like Jeez. that one. That's Jake's a beast at that one, aren't you, Jake? It's one of my favorites. Walk to launch is a good one, man. What, Tyler, let me ask you. I'm going to put you on the spot here. I didn't prepare you for this, but what do you think the biggest uh, purpose behind walk to launch is? Mm, probably, like, striding. Yeah, yeah, that's a good answer. I mean, that's obviously kind of walk to launch. I like walk to launch because it gets you moving, kind of teaches you that uh, movement is good, kind of gives you time to load your upper body, gives you a good opportunity to separate, but, you know, kind of forces you to have movement and not be stationary um, amongst a million other reasons why to do walk to launch, but that's good. So Tyler, can I tell the story quick about how we found you? Sure. So we run a huge camp. Um, at the time it was with Dustin Pedroia and we're at Otis street in Mansfield at running a huge camp for 250, 300 kids. And Everyone at the snack shack was complaining that somebody kept hitting balls off the snack shack and into the snack shack window. Um, <laughs> and I think our nurse actually might have got hit by one of Tyler's 700 home runs that week. So after after he just kept basically costing us uh, a lot of money and damages to the snack shack, we we finally said we need you in a in a GVG uniform, Tyler. Right? <laughs> yeah. I gave, I think, I gave my I gave my first home run on that field, coach, when I was 12 years old. It was awful. Which field? Uh, the what's that field? Field five. Field, field five? five. Yeah, it was uh, off a of, off a of former RBI uh, member Joe Swindells hit it off of me. Yeah, it was uh, quite quite the day. It was brutal. Still haven't let it down this day. I mean, you were known as a hitter, and he was really known as a pitcher. So that's a little bit of a, 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 a role bat, reversal, yeah. you know. Probably why I gave up a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's get into some questions here. All right, let's get into some some speed round questions. I sent them out to you guys, but I know uh, Drew has been in school all day, so he just get the opportunity to see him. So I'll start with Coach Hall. I'll let you guys I'll let you guys kind of formulate some answers here. Jake, I might ask you a couple of them, but you know, um, uh, Coach Hall, I'm not going to ask you the first one. Uh, second, I'm not going to ask the second one. I already asked that. Um, if you could eat one thing for the rest of your life. And only one thing. You could only eat one thing. What would it be? I'm going to go with uh, chicken wings. Chicken wings. Yeah. Okay. Just plain, right? Cause plain. Nothing on them. No sauce. From Quan, you roll. Quan, from Quan's Kitchen would be, be the best spot for them. Yeah. Just terrible. Um, not going to ask you the next one. I already talked to you about that. Uh, least favorite household chore? Um, ooh, that's a good question. I despise cleaning the bathroom. That would be my least favorite. 
for sure. Okay. General cleanliness, shocking. Uh, who, uh, let's talk about, I'm going to ask you as a coach, who uh, outside of your family has influenced you the most in, in your coaching career? Um, that's a great question. So I'm going to go actually a, kind of an interesting route here with a guy by the name of Tim Wakefield. Um, and one of the reasons why I like him a lot is because he's, a lot of people know him as a knuckleball pitcher, but in reality, what he does and what he brings to the table outside of a baseball field is like just incredibly powerful and inspiring. So um, he actually came up through the minors as a first baseman and, um, you know, wasn't really doing a whole lot. And he developed a knuckleball and like learned to pitch pitch pretty consistently yeah. in minors with his knuckleball. Yeah. Um, and he came up to the majors and knuckleball pitcher, always received a bunch of awards for all of his community service that he did off the field. Um, right now he does a lot of broadcasting with Nesson and, um, you know, he just, he's always working with charities. He's always um, doing his job. He always had a role in the team and just dominated it. And, uh, you know, I really just, I look up to him as a, as a, as a player and now a broadcaster. And I try to um, mimic a lot of the messages that he portrays to a lot of the co uh, athletes that I coach too. So I would say with him. <laughs> yeah. We were definitely lucky to have him in Boston for so long. That was, <laughs> you know, he didn't start in Boston, but we're lucky to <laughs> have, have grabbed him. So. All right. Big country, Tyler Kropis. I'm going to move on to you. Speed round. All right. Favorite yep. musician. Uh, little Uzi Vert. What's up with that? I don't want to say that. I still don't know who this person is, and that's the third time he's been mentioned. Uh, we, we, time. Think alike. we may have to put the intro music as that, but something tells me I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Tyler, uh, favorite athlete non baseball? Tom Brady. Oh, can't go wrong there. Yes. Sweet, sweet Tom. Uh, if you could eat only one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pepperoni pizza. Okay. That's a good one. Ch Chal, Coach Hall, do you have any thoughts on pepperoni pizza? Um, I, it's funny. I, I, I'm not a big pepperoni guy, but I do like bacon on my pizza. So it's not always just cheese. But. Not that far off. But. Yeah. Uh, Kropis, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Flying. Yeah, it's, a, it's the obvious one. That's the best one. Uh, least favorite household chore? Taking out the trash. Ooh, okay. Um, outside of your family, who has – I know your family has influenced you greatly, but who outside of your family, who has influenced your baseball career the most? My Seacock baseball coaches. Okay. They're good down there. They, so, um, little known fact, uh, Tyler is my neighbor over in Seacock. I'm in Rehoboth, but – uh, he's over in Seacock, so he's about as close to me as any player in the program. Uh, I'm going to get to the Would You Rathers afterwards. So let's go to Drew. Uh, favorite musician? Lil Uzi. Uh, yeah. So I've heard, wait, hold on, hold on. So I've heard, it, I've heard it three ways. I've heard it Lil Uzi, I have heard Uzi, and I have heard Lil Uzi Vert. Is there any difference between the two? His real name is Lil Uzi Vert, but you can call him. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. His real name? No, it's like his, his like rap name. I you guess. know what his real name is? I have no clue, actually. You have no idea? No, no clue. Couldn't tell you. Like it. Let me look it up. Keep going. Right. He's, he's also only 5'2". His name is yeah, like, he's tiny. It's probably Sime like Ed. Samir Woods. Yeah. I would not have known that. I knew that. But he probably shouldn't be your favorite if you don't even know his name. I mean, come on. Good music. Wait First concert of mine right there. Same. Drew, Drew favorite non-baseball athlete? Um, Julian Edelman. That's a good one. Um, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Burritos. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ultimate power. It's like being strong. Being strong. Okay. Being strong. Least favorite household chore? Doing the dishes. Person who has influenced your baseball career the most outside of your family? Coach Yaffe, last two years. Coach Yaffe is the man. Coach, Coach Yaffe has influenced a lot of us at GBG. He's uh, he's 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 the best. He's one of the, uh, he's awesome. Um, Great guy, Jake. I'm going to ask you um, just your least favorite household chore. That would be cleaning the dishes. Something about soggy food just does not yes. settle with me. I hate cleaning the dishes and I have to do it at work, which makes it even worse. Yeah, that's a, it's it's that's 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 a rough one. That's a good one. Um, all right, let's finish up with a, a round of would you rather. Okay, Coach Hall, I'm going to start with you. Jake, I'm going to ask you these two. So, um, 
would you rather only be able to whisper or shout at the top of your lungs for a year? Definitely only whisper because there's a lot of things that I say they don't want people to hear, so that would work out really well. <laughs> agree. Tyler, what would you say? Whisper or shout at the top of your lungs for a year? Whisper. All right, Drew? Scream. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, that does not surprise me. And I'm going to say I already know what Jake's going to say, but Jake, go. I would definitely yell because I'm always yelling at it anyway, so. Yep. It? My guy. Jake, I'll start with you. We'll reverse it here. Would you rather live without music or without movies? Movies. Because music, I feel like music, music controls my emotions more than movies does. And it's more of a broader subject. Okay. Um, Drew, movies or music? Live without them. Movies. Because, like, what am I going to listen to in the car or, like, before a game? Okay. Tyler? Uh, movies. Movies? What about you, Coach Hall? 100% movies. I, I don't have the attention span to sit through a movie. So. Uh, kind of made the question kind of stupid if we all agree. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have thought of that one before. Well, do you want to do a speed round here? Or? Uh, afterwards. I got one more would you rather. All right. Um, because I have thoughts on this one. Ooh. So, um, Tyler, I'm going to start with you. Yeah. Would you rather not have elbows or knees? Knees. No. So you'd rather just have straight legs? Yeah. Okay. Drew, what about you? I like debating. Probably knees. Yeah, I'm going to go with knees. Okay. All right. Jake? I'd probably go knees because I'm, I'm kind of wondering how I would throw with no elbow. Would I never get sore? It's I'd be able to answer. throw every arm slot just all the time. The only answer. It's the only correct answer. But uh, Coach Hall, what do you think? Uh, I'm just going to mix it up and go elbows because my knees are already garbage anyway, so it's, it's kind of <laughs> let's go with elbow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think baseball players – if a baseball player – I mean, I – I don't know. Drew, you're a little faster than us, I think. Um, but I've never really been one for speed. I know that may shock you guys. I, I'm just confused. Like, no elbows? Like, yeah, just straight on. It would be locked? Or like, yeah. Know. Where's my yeah. left elbow? I help my golf swing. Because you're supposed to keep your left elbow straight. Yeah. But elbow, <laughs> I work, work in that side. situation. <laughs> be good. I'm gonna right. elbow, coach. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely say I could do without knees because I just have zero speed to begin with. So, and and uh, I have a million dollar arm. You know what I mean? So, as it proved to be, I don't have a million dollar arm. But uh, I think that's good for today. That worked for you guys. Yeah. All right. Coach. All right. Well, thank you guys for being with us. I know uh, if you're interested, I should have mentioned this at the top, but I've had a lot of people reach out and trying to get to everybody. But if you are interested in jumping on with me here, um, with us here, uh, email me, cwelch at rbiacademy.com or hit me up on Twitter, Coach Welch RBI. Uh, thank you to Coach Hall, as always. I know you had some internet issues before this that you battled through. So I yeah, really appreciate yeah. you battling. Um, yeah, Try my best to accommodate, you know. Remember, make sure you guys are on those at-home programs. We're going to we're gonna be sending out some information to make sure you guys are doing them, make sure you guys are tracking them properly because we want to help you guys. We want to answer any questions you have. We want to help evaluate your videos. Um, we'll keep, we're going to keep sending information out on how to do that. Um, for Coach Hall, for Tyler, Drew, Jake, myself, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you guys very much, and uh, I'll see Thanks, you guys coach. really soon, hopefully. Thank you, Coach. You got it, boys. Thanks, coach. Have, Have a great day. Stay safe. You got it. Yeah, you too, Coach.